I want to take a moment today to answer a question that I received from a viewer. Actually, it was from a Patreon supporter whose name is, and I hope I say this even close to correct, Adam, A-D-A-N, Villarreal. I hope that's close to being correct. It's probably not even your real name. Anyway, well, they sent me a question concerning EDC belts. They said, since I carry a gun every day, I obviously use an EDC belt every day. I showed one in my previous uh, pocket dump video where I showed the belt that I currently wear. I am using a track line belt from Core Essentials. This is their new uh, tactical style belt, and it's really nice. I'm really enjoying it. But the question that they asked me, that Adan asked me, is, is there really a big difference between just getting a good quality leather western style belt or getting a gun belt that's actually made for EDC or for everyday carry? Well, leather's leather. And good leather is good leather. And everyone loves good leather. I mean, look at Cher. She's still popular. But, uh... There is a difference because unfortunately, leather alone doesn't cut it for a good gun belt. Now there are exceptions. If you carry a gun that's under a pound, like you carry an LCP or a Smith & Wesson 637 or something like that, I'm sure it's a ladysmith if you do. Uh, if you carry one of those, then fine. A good quality leather belt will probably be just fine for you. Just make sure it matches your purse. Uh, but if you carry a gun that's, you know, pound and a half up to three and a half pounds, you know, a gun a man would actually carry, well, then there is a big difference. Because like I say, leather alone doesn't cut it. You need to find something that's actually made for everyday carry if you want a perfectly functioning belt that's also comfortable. For example, here's a good quality leather belt. This wasn't a cheap leather belt, but you can see there after I wore it for a while, I've got it upside down here, but there's a definite bend in this belt. It warped the belt. The leather stretched after a while of me carrying a normal sized gun on this. I believe I was carrying a Smith & Wesson 686 Plus with this belt, and it really deformed the leather after a while. So this belt just isn't good enough for a heavy gun. And plus, I had to make it really tight to get it to stay up because of the fact that it would twist and deform. I had to keep the belt very tight, which wasn't very comfortable. So if you want to carry, a, like I say, a man's gun and you just want to use a regular old leather belt, just accept the fact you're probably going to ruin the belt and it's not going to be very comfortable. Now, the difference with a belt like this from Core Essentials or other leather belts that you can buy, Core does make leather belts too, is they are reinforced. They actually have something inside the leather or inside the nylon and leather or inside whatever the belt is made of. This has an insert in it. Some belts have actual metal inserts. Some have polymer inserts in it. But it makes the gun belt very stiff. Uh, I've been wearing uh, Core belts for quite a while now. Not a bit of deformation on any of them. And as I said, they're stiff. If you hold this belt upright, look, it stays upright. I'm holding it towards the end of the belt here. This part stays up in the air. If you hold it in your hands like this, it doesn't flop. It actually stays pretty much horizontal. Try that with a leather belt. Yeah, see, not quite the same thing here. Believe me, I've been told many times by uh, uh, sexual partners that this is not acceptable. So same thing with belts. If it does this, it's probably not acceptable. If you try holding it in the middle, same thing. I mean, the ends can click. If you if you could pull it up and down, the ends smack together, then that's probably not a good idea. Probably not good as a gun belt. These stronger, firmer belts are just so much better for everyday carry. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, yeah, that might hold the gun better, but it's going to be really uncomfortable. But no, that's not the case. Actually, these stiff belts are far more comfortable because the gun is being supported by the strength of the belt. The belt itself isn't twisting or deforming, so it's holding the holster better. Therefore, you don't have to cinch it up to the fact where you're pushing all your belly fat up into your diaphragm and making it hard to breathe all day. These are far more comfortable than a regular leather belt that has to be tightened down too tight to hold your gun securely. So in the end, is there a big difference? Yes, there is a big difference. Regular leather belts for me just don't cut it. Like I said, if you carry a really lightweight gun, it's probably a different story for you, but I don't do that. I actually carry a big gun. And uh, yeah, I do mean that as a double entendre. Uh, and, and none of you can prove otherwise. But if you're going to carry a gun, like I said, that's man-sized, you're going to want a belt that's stiffer. You're going to want a belt that's made for everyday carry. You know, if you're going to go out and spend money on a gun and spend money on a holster, well, don't skimp on your belt because your belt is what determines whether that rig is going to be comfortable for the day or uncomfortable for the day. So spend a little money, 
get a good belt that's made for everyday carry and save the leather belts for when you go square dancing. Fuck me. What am I fucking doing? Let's try this again. Well, I guess might as well start talking. Even if I don't know what I'm saying. <sighs> Good stiff belt like this nylon belt that has an insert in it. As you can see, it's really... Quit hitting the goddamn microphone with the fucking belts. Hey, I want to take a moment today to answer an email I got from... Hey, I want to take a moment today to answer a question I got from a viewer. I got... I got to me a question. It's from someone named Adan, A-D-A-N. Oh, I can't ask fucking spell. Jeez. A-D. A-D. But if you carry a belt that, uh, or excuse me, if you carry a gun, fuck. Is there any really uh, big difference between... They sent me a question saying, or asking, I should say, uh, you carry a gun every day. Fuck, what, how many ahs am I going to add?